Hey guys, and welcome back to The Gerbil Vine. Thank you all so much for being here, for clicking on this video, and for helping the gerbils and I spread around good care information here on YouTube. So I hesitated on making this video for a while because I truly believe that animals should not be purchased before you weigh the pros and cons of owning that said animal. Hamsters and gerbils share many similarities, yet they are extremely different at the same time. Some obvious differences would be their appearance, as well as their level of sociability, with some similarities being that they are both a semi-desert species of animal and they require a large, secure home, with tanks being the preference. The reason for making this video today is that I commonly see the question posed online, which pets should I get, a hamster or a gerbil? So today we're going to go over some of the awesome things about both of these species, as well as comparing some of the differences. Before we get started, please make sure that you like and subscribe so that you never miss our uploads. So I truly despise the term starter pet. I don't believe that any animal is a starter pet as animals need time and research put into their needs and their care requirements. I don't think it's fair for stores to advertise animals that have such special and sensitive care needs and requirements as an easy, ready-to-go animal. Unfortunately, both hamsters and gerbils are marketed as starter pets, and they are often bought on impulse with no research done on their care, nutrition, or any other aspect of their husbandry. So let's start with their sociability. Gerbils are social animals that ideally should be housed in pairs. They can happily coexist with other gerbils and they can actually exhibit signs of stress and depression if they are housed alone. They rely on each other for their safety, security, and comfort. Gerbils are the opposite of solitary. Hamsters, on the other hand, should never be housed together. They will fight to the death. Don't let their cute and cuddly exteriors fool you. These little maniacs will gladly defend their turf until the end. They do not like to be kept together and they can become anxious and stressed if they even smell another hamster. If you are looking for a couple cute small pets to live together, gerbils would be your best bet. If you are looking to get one animal, a hamster would likely be the pet for you. In regard to food, hamsters and gerbils have many similar requirements. There are many safe foods that they can both have and their diets don't completely differ from one another. They both require a good amount of protein from a pellet diet, as well as a seed mix to introduce a little bit of variety. They both require fresh greens and vegetables a couple times a week, with fruit kept to a minimum or as an extremely rare treat. Hamsters in particular should avoid fruit as they can be prone to diabetes. They can both safely consume oat, millet, and flax sprays, and they both love pumpkin, sunflower seeds, and mealworms. When it comes to housing options, this can differ massively. Dribbles are hardcore, dedicated chewers. A large glass tank is the best and safest option for them as it provides security and provided you have a secure lid is basically escape proof. Wooden homes or plastic bins or cages are unsuitable options for your gerbils to live in. For hamsters on the other hand, these can make great alternatives to large glass tanks provided that they meet their space requirements. There is little risk of them chewing out of their home as hamsters are generally not as aggressive chewers as gerbils are. Bin cages, as well as the Preview 528, are both common and appropriate sized hamster enclosures. Gerbils need glass tanks. They cannot live in plastic homes. Hamsters and gerbils are on completely separate schedules. This isn't always the case, but for the most part, gerbils are diurnal. This means that they are most active during the day, and they like to sleep at night. I personally have found that my gerbils are most active during dusk and dawn. However, I do see them out and about quite often throughout the day. I find that gerbils generally like to be up for a bit, go for a nap, and then repeat this cycle all day and night. With hamsters, they are more nocturnal. They usually wake up after dusk and are back in their burrows by the time the sun comes up in the morning. My hamster Beanie likes to wake up between 10 and 11 at night, and she is usually back in bed by 5 a.m. There are some random times throughout the day where she may be up to look for some food or to get a drink of water, but majority of the time she sleeps throughout the entire day. This can be really challenging if you have kids who want to play with and interact with the hamster, or even if you go to bed early. They are usually on the opposite schedule from us, and you may not even see them every day. This is something very important to consider as most people that own pets like to see them and hang out with them. I have both a hamster and gerbils and I see my gerbils way more often than I see my hamster. In regard to taming, my own experience is that it was much easier with my hamster than it was with my gerbils. My hamster was a rescue and after the first week of owning her she would crawl up into my hand, sit there and eat a treat, and seemed active and genuinely interested in following my hands and fingers around her tank. Overall she seemed really happy, social, and confident. With gerbils this can be a much longer process. I am still not at the point with them even after 15 months and even though I work with them every day where they will walk into my hand on their own. They will come and take a treat from me and maybe sit in my hand to come and get the treat and they will let me scoop them up 
but they are more skittish and not as confident compared to my hamster. Dribbles also haven't been domesticated as long as hamsters have, and of course their personalities can differ drastically. Hi Jerry! My personal experience may not be the same as yours, but I have found in the case of my own pets, the hamster is more confident than the gerbils. Yeah, that's right. That's right, we live with a hamster. Did you know about that? Like I was saying, I have found hamsters to be more confident than gerbils, so if having a pet that you are looking to hold and bond with right away is something that's very important to you, a hamster may be your best bet. Building trust with any animal is a process. Sometimes it just takes longer with different animals. The level of mess is also another important thing to factor in. With the right environment, for example a tank with either a platform or a topper, gerbils are able to stay somewhat organized and keep their space and themselves fairly clean. Without a topper or some sort of platform or divider, trying to keep your gerbil tank clean and organized will likely drive you mad. Gerbils can be trained to use the bathroom in one spot, and my boys like to use their sand religiously. And they also enjoy going to the bathroom on the floor of the topper, as I have found that that's pretty common thing with gerbils they like to go to the bathroom on flat surfaces um, personally I don't mind this because it makes seeing and cleaning up the mess that much easier I also find that gerbils have minimal odor coming off them or their tank gerbils also live in pairs so having that other gerbil to help groom them only adds to their cleanliness hamsters on the other hand are a little bit trickier it's a known fact that they prefer to go underground specifically in a corner in the case of my own hamster, Beanie, she likes to poop where she stores her food and where she sleeps. Yep, all mixed in together. Even though she has a large sand bath area, she chooses the same corner no matter how her tank is set up, which is something that hamsters are known for. This normally wouldn't be an issue, but she does all her eliminations in her burrow, and while it can be extremely stressful for a hamster to have you come in and completely clean out all of their bedding and their food stash, I don't have many options as she eliminates where she sleeps, so it comes down to a hygiene and sanitation issue. From a cleanliness standpoint, I find that my gerbil tank has a better smell than my hamsters, even though there are two of them. The fact that they use their sand as a potty is a game changer. So the last point of comparison between hamsters and gerbils that I think is important to bring up is their lifespan. On average, gerbils live three to six years, it may be less and it may be more. Hamsters on average live between one and three years. This can also vary on a couple things, including the species of hamster you're getting, where you're getting your pet from. Generally, if you're choosing a Syrian hamster, they live longer than say a robo or a dwarf hamster. Having a hamster means that you will have to deal with loss a lot more frequently than you would with gerbils. Considering gerbils live almost twice as long as hamsters, this can save you some heartbreak in the short run. If having a pet that lives as long as possible is something that's important to you, gerbils would be the better choice in this case. So that concludes our video on which pet should I get, a hamster or a gerbil. There are many points to consider in owning either of these animals, and hamsters and gerbils certainly have both their pros and their cons. In my own personal opinion, I think that this will be my first and only hamster. If I'm being honest, taking care of my hamster is essentially limited to cleaning her tank, feeding and giving her water, and hoping that I get to see her that day. However, this is already something that I knew and was fully prepared for going into hamster ownership. Hi, Dusk. I just haven't found it to be as rewarding as working with my gerbils. I initially rescued my hamster because I knew that I was able to provide her with a better life than the one that she was currently living, and I'm extremely happy that I've had the chance to live and work with her. For me, gerbils will always be my go-to small pet. I just love them so much. I think they are adorable, wonderful, and fascinating all at the same time. And I absolutely love that they are a social mammal. I get so much satisfaction from them when I feel that we're bonding and making progress in our relationship and that I'm helping them build their confidence. I just really click with them. Just to be clear, I also think that hamsters are ridiculously cute. I mean, come on, there's no denying those sweet little faces. I just think going forward, I will strictly be a gerbil girl. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope that you found our video helpful if you're stuck in between trying to make a decision between these two small pets. Make sure that you like and subscribe so that you never miss our uploads. If you feel like it, drop us a comment down below and let us know what your preference is between hamsters and gerbils. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye!